Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And this week sees the release of the action thriller sequel Sicario Day of the Soldado hitting store shelves. Along with the horror prequel The First Purge, the documentary biopic Three Identical Strangers, as well as Kino Lorber is releasing The Night Stalker and The Night Strangler on Blu-ray as well, plus much, much more. So let's go in, see the deals, exclusives, and we're at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, guys, we are in at Walmart here, and the first thing I am seeing is they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of Sicario Day of the Soldado for $29.96 here. The Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.96 the DVD here for $17.96 and Nick and I did a movie review on Sicario Day of the Soldado you can check it out on the movie review playlist and you know what we really did enjoy this movie I know that I sure did it it's a sequel to that first Sicario with Emily Blunt Benicio Josh Brolin and it delves more into Benicio's character, it delves more into Josh Brolin, it's much more, I think, harder edge talking about border control and, and drug trafficking and very interesting movie. I definitely really did enjoy it a lot. Um, is it as good as that first Sicario film? No, probably not, but I still really enjoyed it and it's still really a solid sequel for what it is and I, I thought I thought it was really, really well done. I thought all the actors did a great job. Benicio still killed it in this role. Josh Brolin, his third film of the year, uh, Infinity War, Deadpool 2, and this one, he he was awesome here. Very badass. Really loved it a lot. Yeah, very much a, a recommendation from me, guys. Very, very well done, done here. Um, if you haven't checked out the sequel yet, yeah, I would say go ahead and do it. I think you guys would really enjoy it. They also over here have a two movie on Blu-ray only at Walmart. Includes the original Sicario and the sequel here. Um, it would be kind of cool. I would probably just buy the movie separately, but that's just me. It's sort of my OCD and my collection type of thing. But I don't know if you want to get both at the same time. Only at Walmart exclusive. Twenty-two nine ninety-six here, guys. Then the next thing I am seeing over here is they have the first purge, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.96, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.96, and the DVD here for $14.96. And Bob and I ended up doing a movie review for the first purge. You can check it out on the movie review playlist as well. Oh, uh, not the greatest in the franchise um it's kind of weak sauce to be honest with you i i didn't love it as i thought i would i i really did love that second purge film and honestly the third purge film even though a lot of people didn't really care for that one i actually ended up really enjoying it and i thought boy the first purge is really going to get down and dirty and gritty just like those other two ones and really not so much very light on the the purging and the killing and um the story is kind of weak and it, it's not as good of a film as i really would have liked it to have been um it's still better than that first purge film which i think is not all that great but is it better than the other two no i would probably say um watch it if you're a fan of the other purge films but just go in knowing that it's not as good and maybe that was the point because it's the first purge and you want to build up to the other movies but at this point a lot of people already know the franchise so you kind of want to go big on it ah it's it's kind of tough I, I i didn't really love it like i wanted to it's just an okay movie at, at best guys give it a watch if you're curious they also have over here the blu-ray a digital of the purge four movie collection on blu-ray here for 39.96 here they also have it on DVD here for $34.96 here. I like the cover, actually. The cover is actually really cool with um, the masks here. It's actually not bad with red, white, and blue here. Yeah, if you guys don't have it, any of the movies, and want the four-movie collection, Walmart's got it here, guys. 
they also have over here they have death race beyond anarchy the blu-ray dvd and digital for 14.96 the dvd here for 12.96 here oh uh, i have really not seen any of the death race movies i mean not any of the newer ones i should say I don't know if this is worth it or not, or even worth it to check out the other Death Race films. Definitely let me know, guys. Um, yeah, I, I know they came out with a few of those ones that were, that were like in, th in theaters, like the, the remake to Death Race, but I know they've had a lot of them that's gone straight to Blu-ray and DVD. Um... I I don't know. Is it worth it, guys? I mean, let let me know here. Uh, oh, Danny Trejo is back. Okay. Well, that doesn't say much because Danny Trejo's been doing a lot of kind of you know straight to DVD stuff. No, not saying a lot, but wow, Danny Glover's in this too. Kind of looks like a hobo. Uh, um, mm, I don't know. It's it's kind of a toss up for for me. It could be cool, but I'm not. I don't know if I would be expecting much. If you guys have seen this, Death, Ar Death Race Beyond Anarchy, let me know. I mean, it's got Danny Glover and Danny Trejo in it. That's saying something, right? They also, over here, guys, they have the DVD of the four-movie collection Death Race Unrated here for 1996. It's got Death Race, Death Race 2... Death Race 3 and Death Race Beyond Anarchy. Um, yeah, the first one I know definitely got a theatrical release. I think the other ones went straight to DVD and Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I don't... I mean, is it worth it to look into this, guys? Definitely let me know. I like... That Death Race remake wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. So I kind of stayed away from the rest of the ones, but... Uh, yeah, let me know if it's worth it. Then, over here, I am seeing they have the DVD of the HBO original series, Barry, for $14.96 here. A hitman searching for some direction. Very interesting here. Um, of course, I don't have HBO, so I don't know anything about this show. Is it worth it, guys? Uh, I kind of like Bill Hader, but I'm not a huge Bill Hader guy. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Barry here. Uh, the cover's not bad here. I know, I should probably get HBO Go or something, but... Hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. It's, it's a toss-up for me. I like comedies, but a lot of these comedies not on television now are not really doing it for me. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. Also over here, I am seeing they have the Blu-ray and digital of Smart Chase for $14.96 here with Orlando Bloom. My God, man, what is, where has Orlando Bloom been? He's barely been in anything. Remember back in the day, Orlando Bloom would be in practically like everything you would see in the movie theater? And then somehow he just ended up just being lost and forgotten. Um, watched a private security agent who is given a chance to clear his name. Oh, okay. It was kind of one of those action thriller type deals. Uh, could be good. I don't know. I haven't seen Orlando Bloom in anything in a long while. I think the last thing I saw him in was, um, uh, that last Pirates of the Caribbean movie. But he had a very, like, tiny, tiny role, guys. Yeah, I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, it could be cool. I like Orlando Bloom, but I don't know if it's worth a gamble to buy it. Let me know what you guys think of Smart Chase if you've seen it. Hmm. Other than that, that'll do it for this section of Walmart, guys. Let's see what else they got. All right, guys, we are in this section of Walmart now, and a few things I am seeing here. They have Leave No Trace here, the DVD for $14.96. This movie got released this week as well um, from the writer-director of Winter's Bone. I actually really do like that movie. Very cool fil flick. Um, don't know much about this movie. Uh, let's see here. 
no, okay, not bad. I do like Ben Ben Foster. This could be good. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Leave No Trace. Should I check it out? Also, they have over here the DVD of three identical strangers for $14.96 here. I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime, guys, and this is an awesome documentary about three identical brothers who get separated at birth um, to three di different families, and they find each other years later in college, and it is dark. It, it really delves into why they were separated, the reasons that it all happened, what was going on with them a lot of dark stuff in this this is a really really wonderful wonderful documentary um i don't want to spoil anything for you guys because it's so so good but yeah definitely give it a watch it is really really well worth, worth it guys very a lot of twists and turns but i couldn't believe that this was even true man it was so so awesome definitely worth a watch guys and also here i'm seeing a few other things that got released this week as well they got the 12th man here the dvd for 1296 here i believe that got released also let's see here okay could be cool hmm not sure this is up my alley but hmm I do like Jonathan Rhys Myers, could be cool here. Um, they also have here a few other ones that came out, I think. They have End of Fall here. How long can a secret stay buried? What is this here? Hmm, looks okay. Looks, looks all right. They also have Strange Nature here, the DVD for $9.96 here. I like the cover. The cover is very cool. I do like the cover here. This about here. Ha! Huh. Hideous, hideously deformed frogs in Minnesota. Really? Based on a true ecological mystery. Is this, is this true? Oh my god. Guys, if this is true, I'm never visiting Minnesota. That is it. I'm putting my foot down. I am never visiting. If this is true, and there's really weird deformed frogs in Minnesota, yeah, never, never taking a trip to Minnesota. Just, just saying. If any of you guys live in Minnesota, let me know. Oh, that would be weird. That would be weird if that's true, though. Wow. They got that. They've got also this movie, Sleep No More, from the creator of Final Destination. Your dreams will become your nightmare. Interesting. Uh, they got that here. Um, to find the cure for sleep, they'll need to survive the night. Five graduate students conducting a study to prove the theory that once yeah, two hundred dollars, sleep will never be sick again. Oh, geez. Yeah, they they do that, and then, you know, some something is in their dreams are killing them. Oh uh, my God! But you know, it's a little bit of a nightmare on Elm Street ripoff and you know all this other stuff and eh, you know, I don't know if it's good nah, I don't know maybe I like the cover but eh. they also got from the creator of punked afraid in the digital age secluded does it mean alone Wow okay that is weird from the co-creator of punked of all things right okay what is what is this about um Oh, Elena Masterson from The Walking Dead is in this. And a couple. Mm, okay. Maybe, but I've seen other movies like this. Other movies um, about stalking and people watching them. I don't know. Maybe this is good, but I'm kind of hesitant from the co-creator of Punk, though. You know what I mean? I'm almost like thinking like who it really is is Ashton Kutcher and Ashton Kutcher is going to come out and say you're punked like something like that but uh, I don't know now let, let me know what you guys think then over here I am seeing Tales from the Hood 2 the DVD for $9.96 and the Blu-ray for $12.96 here I watched this on Amazon Prime guys I am very disappointed in this movie very disappointed Oh my god, dude, I love that first Tales from the Hood movie. It is one of my favorite horror anthologies of all time. 
And when they were announcing this movie, I said, oh my god, this better be good, because if it's not, I'm going to be really pissed. And it was not very good at all. Very cheaply made. Um, the stories are not that well told. The acting is really over the top and terrible. There's some good messages in the tales and a lot of relevant stuff, but it just hits you over the head, very over the top, and yeah, it's not very good, and I was really, again, disappointed because it could have been so much better, but it really dropped the ball, and God, it just it just pissed me off, because if you're going to make another Tales from the Hood movie, make a good one. Don't make a shitty one, you know what I mean? And this was a really, really craptacular movie. Yeah, I don't recommend Tales from the Hood 2 at all. Very, very disappointed. You can find much better, much better horror anthologies out there. This is not one of them, guys. Also, I'm seeing here they got Ouija House here. I think we've seen that before there. They've got, oh, they've got Bloodfest, the Blu-ray for $14.96 here. I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime. And my God, man, this is an awesome fucking movie, guys. Uh, if you guys are interested in a really cool, bloody, gory, just killing spree of a movie. This is the one right down your alley, guys. This is really fun. Uh, the characters are really in interesting and fun to watch. And a lot of cool horror cliches that they kind of turn, turn around on themselves and the characters comment on. Yeah, very cool. It's about these kids that go to this sort of... Um, almost like this horror maze fast thing and they're um it's really killing people and they're stuck in there and trying to survive and yeah man i really enjoyed this movie it is really super fun and super gory and a great horror movie easy recommendation for me guys really awesome movie you guys would really really love it a lot i swear to god i love this thing fucking awesome uh, they've got a other few things here, like Feral here that came out this week, I believe, from Scream Factory. Yeah, Scream Factory here, IFC Midnight. I've heard a little bit of stuff about Feral. Haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what an image. Uh, it's an enjoyable ride. There is definitely something rabid lurking in Feral, okay? I've heard decent things about the movie so far. I definitely got to watch it. I've heard decent things. Not sure how good it is. Definitely let me know. Um, Lake Fear 3, whatever the heck that is here. Uh, hmm, Lake Fear 3. Yeah, a few horror titles here. We're definitely going to get a lot more horror stuff as the month goes on, guys. But cool selection here at Walmart. Let's see what else they got, guys. All right, guys, and speaking of horror here, I see a few horror titles here that they also have here on this display here over at Walmart. They have the 8 movie Friday the 13th collection here um, with a collectible Funko Pop, Jason Funko Pop here, only at Walmart. Very cool here. Let's kind of check this thing out here. What's the guy here? Huh, very cool here. They got all of the stuff here. They got the final chapter. Everything up to Jason Takes Manhattan they have in this set, guys. I actually kind of like the actual artwork here. Very cool. And the Funko's not bad, too. If you don't have the Friday the 13th collection, and trust me, a lot of people have it already. It's, it's, a, it's a popular horror franchise. What am I saying? Um, could be cool to get. I don't know if I, I would pick it up. But it doesn't say the price on it, though, but it's got to be probably pricey. But eh, you can find other sets, but it is pretty cool, though. Uh, you've got the four movie collection Stephen King here, which has Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Stephen King, Silver Bullet, Stephen King's Graveyard Shift. Not bad here for $14.96. Not bad at all here. You've got the six movie collection for the Paranormal Activity franchise for $12.96. Yeah, I'd probably skip that, guys. I don't really think the Paranormal Activity series is worth it, honestly. Not gonna lie. Cool artwork, though, but... Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters for $7.50. The Jaws 3 movie collection here. Glow in the Dark Art plus $5 voodoo credit. Halloween 2. Creature from the Black Lagoon. American Werewolf in London. The Last House on the Left. 
Psycho, The Purge, The Strangers, Killer 2 Movie Collection, Monsters Collection. Also, they have Killer Clowns from Outer Space here with an exclusive coloring book inside only at Walmart, $5. Interesting sort of like weird sort of new art cover there for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Child's Play, Return of the Living Dead, Misery on Blu-ray and DVD. Eh, not bad titles. Definitely the beginning of a lot of stuff coming out for the horror stuff for the month of October. Not bad at all, guys, here. All right, some cool titles this week. Let's head out, guys. All right, actually a lot of really cool titles this week, guys, and a lot of really cool selection here at Walmart. Even a few exclusives to show you guys. New and different artwork and slip covers and a lot of cool independent horror titles that are coming out. We're definitely going to see a lot more of that as October rolls along here, guys. Yeah, a lot of really great stuff here at Walmart. They usually deliver, and this week is no exception, guys. So let's hope that the other stores have a lot more selection to show off, guys. Let's head out and find out. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. Now, again, I was really happy with the selection that we got over at Walmart this week. I think the selection was actually pretty cool for the first of the month. And I'm kind of hoping that Target has some really cool stuff, maybe even some exclusives. Keep that exclusive train going from last week. That would be pretty nice. But, uh, you know, it's Target. You never know what you're going to get, but, you know, we're going to go into Target, see what we can find, and hopefully they will surprise us this week. So let's get going, guys. All right, guys, we are in Target here, and oh, it doesn't look like great selection this week, guys. Uh, they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of Sicario Day of the Soldado for $29.99. They have the Blu-ray and DVD and digital for $22.99. They do not have the DVD here, but if they did, it would be $19.99. And uh, it was kind of a shame that Emily Blunt didn't come back for this, but I, I get it. The, the movie, the way the movie is, it doesn't really need her, and she would have just been uh, just an, an extra body in the film that I don't even know if they would have really really done much with her story um i'm happy with just josh brolin and um benicio del toro in this film they both do phenomenal jobs and this movie ends on a possibility of another film and i would be up for it i do like that first sicario film i like this one i kind of want to see where they go with the third film I don't know if this was super popular in the theater, but it would definitely be a, one I would be up for seeing a third film for. I really would. It's actually it's actually pretty solid of an action thriller, and if you guys miss it in the theater, definitely check it out. They also have here, they have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of The First Purge for $24.99. They do not have the DVD, but if they did, it would be $17.99. And... Ah, uh, yeah, you know, again, I really didn't love the movie, and again, I think the big problem with the movie is it was almost being a commercial for, because at the end of the movie, they have this sort of, I, a commercial for that USA series, that mini series that they're doing for The Purge, and this movie almost felt like a commercial for that, and, which really sucked, because I think the movie could have been really cool, um, I know that the same director that directed all three of the Purge films did not come back for this one, and it kind of shows. I think there's a consistency to those first three Purge films, whether you like them or not, there's a consistency to it. Um, with this one, it feels, it doesn't feel as good, and or even worthwhile for that matter. I like the Purge concept, the Purge concept is actually really cool, but... Um, yeah, I think they squandered a lot of the potential on this movie, unfortunately. Then the next thing I'm seeing over here is they have Death Race Beyond Anarchy, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $14.99 here. Ooh, um, it says unrated and unhinged. I just don't know how much that actually is true. Again, I get really sketchy about these unrated ones because 
they say unrated but then there's like nothing to it and you wonder why the hell they even promoted it they basically promoted to sucker people into buying it that's pretty much it i mean the cover's cool um it's cool to see danny glover and danny trejo in a movie together but again i i think the series honestly it had a great big theatrical release and everything else has been sort of downhill from there cool they're making more death race films but i I honestly could care less, guys. I, I, I really could. But definitely let me know. And also, over here, I am seeing they have here The Resident, the DVD for 1999, a medical procedural drama that I could honestly care less about, guys. Not gonna lie. They also have over here, they have the DVD of Fraggle Rock, the complete series for $39.99 here, guys. Ooh, I loved Fraggle Rock back in the day. This was my jam. I loved this. This was a really, really great show and really great for kids to get, get into. If they have not ever watched Fraggle Rock, get them into it. It's actually a really cool show for kids. I watched it when I was a kid. Very cool. I, I love this stuff. Yeah, this was a great, great show, man. Uh, brings back so many wonderful type of memories that I had as a kid. Yeah, very well wor worth it. For thirty nine ninety nine, not a bad price tag for the complete series. Then I'm also seeing they have Vikings Season 5 Volume 1 for $27.99. The Blu-ray and digital and the DVD here for $22.99. And I never watched a single episode of this show. I never really got into it. I'm not that big of a fan of medieval stuff too much. Uh, it just doesn't really do anything for me. I wish it did, but not much. That's why I didn't really get into this show, guys. But you know what really pisses me off? This is Season 5, Volume 1, which means that eventually they're going to release Season 5, Volume 2. And then, after that, they're going to release the complete fifth season. And they're doing this basically to just take your money. And then it really pisses me off because they know if people love the show, they're going to buy it, right? But they're, they're just milking people for their money. And that really ticks me off, man. I mean, if you really like the show, buy it. I understand if you're really anticipating it and you want to want to buy it and... But honestly, for me, I can wait. If I really love something and I know I'm going to watch it, I can wait until the complete season is out. I don't need to pick up Volume 1 and then Volume 2. This is just a cash grab, and I fucking hate people doing cash grabs like this. It's just really cheap, and man, I, I just feel like they're just ripping off the, the consumer, and I fucking hate that. Uh, other than that, guys... That seems to do it for Target, guys. Not much going on this week. Let's get out of here. A literal minefield of nothingness this week, guys. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, yeah, the selection this week at Target is really bad. Now, I know it's hard to compare them to Walmart in a lot of ways, but look, guys, I got to call it like I see it. You know that. And this is really, really rough this week. Uh, you know, we take a gamble every single week coming to Target. You never know what you're going to get. Some weeks will be great. A lot of selection, a lot of really great exclusives. And other weeks, it'll be like this, where you wonder what's really the point. Again, I still really like Target, and a lot of times they have some really cool stuff to show. But this week, unfortunately, was not it at all. Yeah, really, really bad this week, guys. Um, but let's hope that the third and final location has some really cool stuff, some exclusives, some selection. Let's hope, guys. All right. Let's get going. All right, guys. We are at our third and final location, the Beast Best Buy. And before we head in, you know, I wanted to take a few minutes to say I watched a couple trailers, talk to you guys about. Um, I saw the X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer, and... Ooh, um, I like the trailer. I think the trailer is good. I'm interested to see the movie. I want to see where they go with James McAvoy and all these characters. I want to see what they do with them. Jennifer Lawrence, all, all of them. But I just don't know, man. Um, 
I like X-Men The Last Stand, I actually do, but to be perfectly honest with you, I, I don't love it, and I feel like it's really hard to do The Dark Phoenix. For some reason, I feel like people who try to do it, for some reason, they just don't get it right. It's great in comic books, but doing it on the big screen probably is more difficult than people imagine, and it just feels that way from the trailer. I know they're holding back a lot of things. I know they're holding back. Um, they're possibly going to go into space and all this other cosmic stuff. It could be cool, but this thing, this thing was supposed to come out this year, and it got delayed to February, and then that got delayed now to summer of next year. And I, I don't know, man. The, the 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 moving of dates and everything that's going on with that movie, it feels like. They just don't have any confidence in it, and because of the whole deal with Fox and Disney that they're just unsure about the movie in general, I I don't know. I'm very hesitant about the movie. I think it could be cool, but I wasn't huge on X-Men Apocalypse, so this one I'm sort of iffy on anyways. It could be cool. Definitely let me know what you guys think. And I also saw the trailer for Rocket Man with Taron Egerton as... Um, as Elton John, and they end up um, doing sort of a biopic on his life, and it's good. I like the trailer. It re reminded me a lot of Bohemian Rhapsody, th their trailers, but something about it sort of puts me off. I don't know whether it's Taron Egerton as Elton John. Taron Egerton, to me, he doesn't seem like the right fit, and I don't really even know why. I just, I look at Taron Egerton in that role from the trailer, and I'm like, I'm just not feeling him as Elton John. I'm not saying he's going to be bad, it's just a trailer, but I'm a little bit hesitant on how he's going to be in the role. It just, it, it doesn't look like he fits in that role. Like, it was kind of miscast, but I'm hoping it's good, I'm hoping it's really well done, uh, but some of these mu musical biopics, they're a little tough because you'd rather just see a documentary on these guys rather than actually seeing a biopic. These were real people, they lived their lives, you want to see a documentary on their careers and their life instead of actually seeing a biopic, but I'm still going to give it a chance like I'm going to give um, Bohemian Rhapsody a chance, I'm going to see how it is, but again, it's sort of 50-50 for, for me, but... Yeah, those were the trailers that I checked out. I also checked out uh, the Creed 2 trailer, which actually is really cool. That's a really cool full trailer. They don't really even spoil much in that trailer, which is really cool also, because I thought they were actually going to spoil a lot more stuff in that trailer than they did. I do like the shot of Rocky and, and Drago kind of looking at each other. I really want to know what happens. I really want to know if they, like, you know stare each other down intently like the trailer or they actually have a conversation i kind of want to see that um it looks cool i like the first creed movie creed 2 could be really cool if done right i'm hoping that but i don't even know if they should have went with the whole story of drago's son already it kind of feels like they rushed into it that shouldn't have been the second movie it should have been maybe the third or fourth movie, but not like the second. I don't know. That's just my thoughts, guys. Let definitely let me know what you thought of the trailers that came out recently. And uh, yeah, let's head into Walmart and see what kind of cool stuff they have. Maybe exclusives and some cool deals. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys. We are in at Best Buy here under the new releases, and the first thing I am seeing is they have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of the first Purge: A Nation Reborn for $22.99, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital for $29.99. They also have an exclusive steelbook here for the first Purge right here, a Best Buy exclusive. I really actually like that cover. The cover is actually really cool. Yeah, I like that, that a lot. Yeah, very nice here for $32.99 here. Not a bad looking steel book right here, guys. And to be honest with you, again, do I think they should make another one? I don't really think they should make another Purge movie. Not saying that that it's overplayed. I think there's some still cool stuff to do with this series. But I didn't watch the USA Network 
purge show so i don't know how good that was definitely let me know guys and i kind of feel like that second film and that third film are really fucking good they just literally like poured everything into those ones and it kind of felt like they kind of ran out of gas i think they need to take their time and come up with another concept another another story it could be cool maybe this is the last one if it is eh, kind of goes out on a sour note but you know again this is the fourth film in this horror franchise some fourth films in horror franchises are really great like friday the 13th part four and other ones are just a little bit lame but you know sometimes horror franchises they 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 peak early what can i tell you but definitely let me know what your favorite purge movie is um mine if i had to say it would probably be the second purge film that is amazing and awesome really really well done very kick-ass movie not what i was expecting in the theater at all and on the special feature front here you get uh, deleted scenes you get radical experiment bringing the chaos the masks of the first purge uh, some featurettes here not a ton i do actually like the masks of the purge actually one of the things i love about the purge the most actually are the masks the really cool genius stuff really awesome i do like that a lot they also have over here they have another exclusive steelbook for the purge here 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital for $17.99 they've got another one for the purge anarchy here for the same price the purge election year as well $17.99 also if i had to rank them i would probably say one two three and four that's where i would probably rank them but definitely let me know what you guys rank them as and they also have over here they have a steelbook of an american werewolf in london here for 11.99 here blu-ray actually pretty cool here i actually like this i didn't even know that they were putting out a steelbook here very very cool i like this a lot i don't know i really like this steelbook awesome should i definitely pick it up hmm it is awesome though and this movie, by the way, guys, uh, this is a fucking classic. Um, there are a lot of werewolf films out there, but this is one of the ultimate best. If you guys have not watched American Werewolf in London, what are you doing? Pick the damn thing thing up. It's eleven ninety nine. It's a great fu fucking movie. Goddamn love it. Uh, they also have here the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of Death Rays Beyond Anarchy for $16.99 here. Ooh, again, you know, talk about franchises. I believe, as I said, this is the fourth movie in this franchise. I, it's probably not for me, guys. It's, it's, it's probably one that deserves to be straight to DVD, but definitely let me know. I mean actors have come and gone in this you know you've had luke goss in here um J jason statham i believe was in the first one you've had a lot of good actors come and go in this franchise uh danny trejo stays because hey the guy needs it needs a paycheck but you know i mean uh, but whatever don't let me know on the special feature front actually it's not bad here you get inside the anarchy time served let's get a feature commentary not bad features actually for a straight to dvd effort not bad if you like death wraith pick it up and i'm also seeing here they have the blu-ray season 5 volume 1 of vikings for 24.99 and the dvd here for 19.99 here uh, let's see here includes 10 unrated episodes with extended and deleted scenes not shown on tv let me know what you guys think of the show. Is it worth it for me to get into? Like I said, I'm not big on medieval stuff, but it actually could be pretty cool if you guys let me know what you think here. And uh, it, I don't know if they're doing another season or this is the last one. Uh, I haven't kept up with Vikings. Definitely let me know if this was the last season or not, guys. And on the special feature front, you get deleted scenes, creator audio commentary, uh a few featurettes extended versions of the episodes not bad could be pretty cool if you're a fan of vikings and 
on the other side here guys i am seeing they have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray digital of sicario day of the soldado for 29.99 they also have the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.99. The DVD here for $19.99 as well. And they also have another exclusive only at Best Buy Steelbook here. 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Digital for $32.99. Very nice Steelbook. It actually kind of looks exactly like the, the cover here. But I really do like the, the big like skull there the skull looks really cool i do like that a lot that looks really really awesome yeah if you're a fan of this movie the steelbook is actually really really awesome i really like the look of that a lot and you know again i think this is a really good series i really love benicio del toro actually benicio del toro is a favorite actor of mine Probably my favorite movie of his ever would have to be Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I fucking love that movie, and I love him in that movie. Uh, but he's done a lot of really great stuff, like like Traffic and a lot of other mo movies. Um, I'm really glad that he has a franchise like this where it can really showcase him and, and showcase how badass he can be. It's really, really awesome. I really do like it a lot. And, yeah, you know, definitely let me... Let me know what you guys think of this franchise. Do you think there should be a third one? Definitely let me know. And uh, there's not bad here. I mean, the special features here, you got film to franchise, um, cast characters, making of Sicario. This is, yeah, not bad featurettes here. It actually is pretty cool for the most part here. I do actually really enjoy it and would gladly see another one if they were to make it. Hopefully they will. Uh, other than that, guys, that's what I'm seeing over in this section. Let's see what else Best Buy has. All right, guys, we are in this section of Best Buy here. And the first thing I am seeing over here is they have the 12th man here on Blu-ray for $14.99 here. Um, not probably a movie, again, like I would be interested in, but uh, it seems like a very suspenseful type of thriller. Could be cool. Uh, Norway 1943 after failed Nazi sabotage mission. Hmm, there's a lot of these type of titles out there. Not really sure this would be something up my alley, but, uh, yeah. Um, no special features that I can see on this release, guys. And they also have Bloodfest here, the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack for $12.99 here. I really fucking love this movie. Um, the actual same actor from Spider-Man Homecoming who played Peter Parker's friend, he's in this as well. He does an awesome job in here. This is really just a gory and bloody good time of a movie. Tate Donovan is really cool in here as well. It's got a lot of cool, neat twists and turns in here. And I just, you know what, I wasn't expecting much because I really didn't hear much about the movie. Um, but I'm telling you guys, I really am recommending this. I think for a new horror movie that you guys might be interested in, give something a chance. Definitely give Blood Feast a chance. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I had a ball watching the movie. I thought I was going to hate it, but man, loved it. And you get here the art and design of Blood Fest here, um, VFX breakdown, Gus Fest. Uh, slash scenes, filmmakers commentary, not bad for Bloodfest here, guys. Uh, I'm not even really a huge fan of Rooster Teeth. I do know some of their work, not a huge fan of theirs, but this one, guys, is really, really well done. And, yeah, this is a full-on recommendation for me. I'm telling you guys, definitely check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Would love to hear you guys' thoughts. They also have Leave No Trace here, the Blu-ray and digital for $19.99 here. Uh, fresh Rotten Tomatoes, but you guys know what I think about that. That isn't always an indicator of how good a movie is. But it does look like a really cool drama. Then again, I do like Winter's Bone, so I may check this out at some point. I do like Ben Foster. Let's see here. They also have Barry here, the DVD for $14.99. And I do like Bill Hader sometimes, SNL, hit and miss. But I am looking forward to seeing him in It Chapter 2. He plays one of the adults. And I actually really can't wait to see what he does in the role. I actually can't wait for that movie in general because I think it's going to be a really kick-ass horror movie. 
I love part one, so part two should be really cool with the adults. So definitely looking forward to Bill Hader in that. Um, you only get the world of Barry and inside the episodes. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this. Should I possibly give it a chance down the road? Let me know. I'm also seeing here they have the originals, the fifth and final season for 1999 here. And my friend Nick, man, he loves the originals. I have not seen a single episode of it. I don't even really know much about it. Um, I believe it's a... Is it a prequel to the Vampire Diaries? I thought he said that. Maybe it is. Um, very cool here. Um, yeah, I actually am really interested in in checking this out because I do like vampires. I wasn't really big on wanting to check out Vampire Diaries, but he actually tells me that this is a better show than Vampire Di Diaries is. And he really loves sort of the characters and the drama of it. Yeah, I gotta definitely check this out at some point. Let me know what you guys think of the originals. And it comes with here... The originals come visit Georgia. A Comic-Con panel from last year. Unaired scenes, gag reel. Uh, standard TV season stuff. But uh, I guess it's the final season. So I guess there's nothing else coming out. So I can, I can definitely, you know, sort of start binging it. Could be cool. Definitely let me know, guys. And I'm also seeing over here, they do have it, guys. They have the Hocus Pocus Steelbook. They only have one copy for $14.99 here, guys. Now, I ended up, of course, picking this up. If you ended up watching my movie hunting video there a while back. And it's a great steelbook, guys. It really is an awesome steelbook. I'm glad they finally at least got one copy in. These are still going fast. People are loving this. And for the Halloween season, this is a fantastic movie. It probably is a great, great sort of fun film for the whole family to enjoy. Bette Midler is awesome in it. Sarah Jessica Parker, I actually really like her in it. She's not even annoying in the movie, crazy enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really well done, and it's a great, great steelbook. I love the whole thing with the eye there and sort of the, the book there that's featured in the movie. Yeah, very, very cool here. If you can find a copy at your Best Buy, definitely go ahead and do it. It is very worthwhile here. I'm glad to at least have shown it at least once here, guys. Um, they also have here, they have The Resident here that uh, Season 1 for $9.99, the DVD. And not my thing. Pass on that. And then the other thing I am seeing over here, guys, is they have Fraggle Rock, the animated series here, for $9.99 on DVD. Actually, that's really cool. I remember, actually, the animated series. It was fun. I actually liked it a lot. It was pretty cool here. And, yeah, not bad at all here. It is cool to have the animated series here. Like I said, Fraggle Rock is an awesome show, and so is the animated. Definitely good to get your kids into this. Uh, behind the scenes featurette, character galleries, opening scene storyboards. Not bad here. Definitely check that out. And they also have here, they have the Fraggle Rock, the complete series, 35th anniversary collection. First time on Blu-ray, collectible scrapbook edition. I really like this cover, man. Very cool. Look at that, man. This thing is bulky. Wow, very cool here. Very awesome. I like that. This is a really great edition of Fraggle Rock on Blu-ray, guys. Um, for $52.99, a little bit of a hefty price tag, but I really love the packaging here. The artwork actually in on it is really cool. And if you guys are into Fraggle Rock, if you actually really love the series, it's actually a really great show. Again, guys, for kids, it's absolutely awesome, and it probably... For me, man, if I had kids, I would get them into this. It, it's really just fun and well done here, man. And I really do love it a lot. Let's see what they got here. I really will love the back, too. The back is really cool. Uh, let's see. You got music celebration. You know, interviews with cast and crew. Features and promos. The complete Fraggle Rock. Oh, actually, you also get the, the Fraggle Rock animated series in here as well. So you don't even need to get the DVD of Fraggle Rock. This has comes with everything. It comes with the, the complete show. It comes with the animated series as well. This is definitely a worth it buy for $52.99. Not a bad price tag for everything that you get included there. Very cool. And again, this looks like a really awesome, awesome set, guys. Uh, all right, guys, uh, that does it for Best Buy. A lot of stuff to check out here. Very happy indeed. All right, 
let's head out. Now this is more like it guys. There is a lot of really great selection, a lot of wonderful titles that Best Buy has in here. Some stuff that we didn't even see at the other stores. A lot of really great exclusives like steel books and different artwork. And yeah, I was really loving Best Buy. They usually deliver and they delivered here in a big bad way. A lot of really wonderful stuff to see here and check out. Yeah, definitely go to your Best Buy. There's a lot of cool stuff to check out here as far as media goes. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for the video, guys. Let's head home and wrap it up. All right, everybody, that'll do it for the Blu-ray and DVD out in about video this week. And overall, I actually was really happy with the selection that the stores had this week. We saw a lot of cool stuff. We got the exclusives. We got the steel books. We got the different artwork. We got the cool different slip covers. A lot of very interesting media to check out this week. And actually, now in October here, it's actually really fun doing these out and about adventures because... There is so much cool stuff coming out, man. You've got all the independent and horror titles coming out. You've got a lot of the big summer releases finally hitting as well. There's a great combination of physical media coming out. So this is a great time for us physical media lovers out there. It really is cool. I am definitely excited over the course of the month to do the Out and About Adventures because, my God, man, I think there's going to some, gonna be some really cool stuff to check out, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And as far as physical media is concerned, definitely let me know what you guys picked up. I definitely am interested to know. I actually picked up a title at Best Buy here, guys. Actually, a surprise because I wasn't exactly thinking I was going to pick this title up, but I watched the movie, I really enjoyed it, and I thought to myself, you know what, Best Buy has it for a really great price. Wasn't expecting to pick it up, but hey, you know, if you love a movie, you love a movie, guys. You just got to pick it up. You know what I mean. And you guys will not know exactly what I picked up until my Blu-ray pickup video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. It will show off all of the releases that I got for the month of October. And guys, ha, huh, October is a huge, gigantic month. There's a lot of physical media that I have pre-ordered, stuff that I know I'm going to buy in the stores this week, or over the course of the month, I should say. Uh, yeah, it is definitely going to be massive. And if you guys have seen the releases that are coming out for October, it is just mind-boggling. So much stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have quite the haul for the month, so definitely tune in at the beginning of next month for my Blu-ray pickups video, which is going to be quite the haul to show, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on something really serious quick before I finish the video. Um, just so you guys know, um, you won't see Bob doing anything on the channel for a, a while none of the reviews or anything uh basically last week bob got rushed to the hospital because he was running 102 fever and um he was very sick uh he ended up having an infection in his bloodstream and he almost died uh, it was very, very serious, and he's slowly, slowly recovering. It's He's had to have a lot of surgeries done, and there's been a lot of, uh, you know, going back and forth to the hospital, visiting him, and, I mean, he's getting better, he's feeling better, but uh, it's going to take a while for him to heal. It's going to be a while for him to really, you know, uh, just get back to the way he was, and uh, it's just going to be a transition time, and uh, it's going to be a while till you see him again doing the movie re reviews with me. So just so you guys know, uh, it's not that he doesn't want to do them anymore. It's just that right now he's in recovery, and I want him to take his time. I don't want him to rush, and whenever he's ready to come back, I will gladly have him back on the channel doing movie reviews with me. But please send your well wishes uh through the comments uh let him know that you know you wish him well hope he feels better 
And um, yeah, uh, I will look forward to him coming back to the channel, doing reviews. But uh, in the meantime, he's going to take his time and, and recover. But I definitely wanted to keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on. All right, guys, uh, that is it. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out the other things that are on the channel. Uh, the other Blu-ray DVD out and about videos, the Blu-ray pickup videos, the theatrical movie reviews I do with my friends every single week, plus much more content on the channel. If you're a lover of movies and physical media, hit subscribe and become part of the Film Fan Nation. I have a passion and I love talking about movies. I have a lot of people who are my friends and who love putting their input on videos and love talking movies. It's just a movie loving channel and if you guys love what I do, definitely hit subscribe. And also catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, FilmFan108. Uh, keep up to date with all of the videos that I'm posting and I also do exclusive stuff on social media as well. Alright guys. I will see you back next week for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Take care and happy hunting.